Hello and welcome to joining us from MTG Bazaar. Again, we're coming back to you with a cracker box, cracker pack, cracker lack video. Um, today we uh, have our fresh seal from Wizard of the Coast, Magic the Gathering, a Double Masters. Double the trouble, double the fun, double the things, all you can get into. Uh, apparently, so these packs in here. Uh, meant to have double the rares, double the everything, and let's see. Uh, there is a going to be meant to be a box topper in here. Uh, we cracked open our VIP boxes the last time um, we did a video, and let's just see what we got here. Uh, excuse me, Surgeon General, scalpel, please. All right, let's have a look, see what we got. Always intrigued. I mean, at least the packing on this is a lot better than the Double Masters, a like VIP boosters. That was completely jank. I showed you ones, like, I got a couple of them. It was super nicely, like, tight and, like, bound. None of this, like, Wizard of the Coast, like, you know, like, paper that they have, like, most of their sealed product. And then the other one that came to us was just completely just like it had been home sealed. I think I could probably do a better job but like I'm, you know, with my uh, hair dryer. But anyway, let's have a look. See how it opens up. All right, so they got the big old fluffy cardboard piece and look at that. Sitting right on that, that beautiful Double Masters box topper. Now that's what we're all in for. That's what we really want. Now, is it going to be one card, two card? Is it going to be a rare, a mythic rare? Is it going to be two rares, two mythics? Uh, probably not two mythics. We found that out with the with the VIP boost uh, boxes. So, but in typical master's style, put the box up on the side. We'll save that for later. Twenty four packs of glorious double masters action. Look at them, they are very nice and shiny and beautiful. That's just going to, I like to do this, I like to mess it up a little bit. I like to go side to side. Good joke. Then I can go from left to right, right to left, whichever way I want. Try not to go this way and that way. I don't like keeping them in the box because it's organized. But that is a sight to behold and it is very, very pretty. I mean, they have been doing well. The Masters products are pretty nice. Definitely bought for, you know, sitting on the self, uh, shelf of your LGS. You're going to walk in, you're going to see, like, oh, double Masters. You're going to be like, oh, what's Master 17? I'll take the double, because everybody wants double, right? All right, so let's just start going on. Let's see what we've got here. So... Opens pretty easy. It's not quite like a Japanese pack that they were having. But Twisted Abomination, Conclave Naturalist, Salivating Gremlins, and Urza's Mine. Kind of funny how like they gave some of these cards like super fancy artwork, and then just you know made it full art bordered promo, and then called it a rare when you can get it as a common here. But if you're going for those Tron lands, everybody in uh, modern is going to love that. Metallic Rebuke from Kaladesh. It was a... Uh, play this in a couple different decks. Or actually, maybe I'm thinking about something different. But yeah, lots and lots of artifacts in this one. So I remember the Falling Fencing Gaze. So this came through uh, one of the more recent sets. Uh, double strike soldier, yeah, really good. Uh, two mana, strap some equipment to it if you can. What do we get in the equipment? We just had a like, couple pieces, and off you go. Cogwork assembler, Gore Clan Rampager. That was from like the original uh, Ravnica sets, yeah, with Blood Rush. Pretty effective if you get that uh, green red stompy going on. 
but there you go that would have been like the deck to have so when you draft this if you're actually drafting if you get a chance to draft probably going to be like about 50 dollars draft if you're cracking three packs at least you get a chance to crack 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 a pack and grab two so it's pack one pick two so i mean there you go there's a combo right there you got like two gold cards red green both doing pretty well double strike savage born plus also a blood rush i did play this in a draft a long time ago and it was really really good so i might go back for that Ooh, and then here's our rare here Aramexis, the slumbering isle so savage born hydra i mean without saying that any of these like really true money cards will make like ooh and ah will get some good ones but this one isn't too bad and then we get two foils pentad prism might of the masses and a little cute planty token this is not foil like the double-sided foil ones i had like some of the, those like already starting to like curl up but let's see how we're going to do this uh we're going to put our res here put everything else on the foils over there and everything else on the side yeah just in case we get something up. well let's pull that out you never know you actually might get a good like foil rare but you might not but eh, not too bad first pack so i know it's on mtgo not gonna get a chance to play this on arena haven't played mtgo in a long time but let's have a look orcish vandal might of the masses driver of the dead clear shot Fragify, Everflowing Chalice, this is mine, do we already have that, Angel of the Dawn, and then into our of Commons, so, Oop, there it was, I have a feeling those uh, Tron lands are going to be like popping up pretty regularly. Is it Charm? Bloodshot Trainee Skull Muncher. <laughs> I just love the name of that. It's got great artwork. Look at that little like, fancy thing. You just want to like be chomping on everybody's m melons. Okay. Goblin guy, I do love that card. And then we got the Voice of Resurgence as well. Let's have a look what we got here. Cloud Reader Spink. Oh, there we go. We got Disciple of Bolas too. Not bad. Our first rare foil. An old Mur token. The goblin guy being played in a lot of those like historic uh, goblin decks. Whenever a goblin attacks, the defender player reveals the top card of their library. If it's meant, put that into their hand. Haven't had the chance to play too much of that. I've been trying to battle through my way through uh, standard ranking, but team of battle rage, elvish apparition, executioners. Capsule, Battle Rattle Shaman, Gloomy Barrier, Parasitic Strix, The Tower. I think we're going to have like a full set of like Tron lands after this. What do you think? Ancestral Blade. And then we're going to go into our non common Spring Leaf Drum, Path to Exile. Good card. And Chief of the Foundry. Also a good card. First rare is going to be a. Ah, uh, there you go. Graven Cairns. We got this as like our foil rare. Which is a, you know, not too disappointed, but wasn't too happy. And we got double land rares, huh? And with the Golem of Void. Our foils are Remember the Fallen, 
sickle slicer that we already have. Let's lay that on the side. I was wondering if we should just have like background music playing off while we do this, but see, Heartless Pillage, Earth Braid. See, no, that's like a great card. I'm really glad that they brought that back in it because, like, when it was like Amonka Hour to Devastation, it was just brilliant. Like, three damage, multi versatile, removal smell, and destroy an artifact. And in this set, key. So, if you're drafting, I would pick this pretty highly. Supernatural Stamina. Ancient Stirrings, always a classic playable. The Dolphin Infuser, Ego Construct, Gleaming Barrier, Fortify, and then into our Gelatinous Genesis. I love the name as well as love that artwork. Look at it. It's just it dripping and oozing all the goodies. Create X, XX. Green ooze creatures. There we got Misha's factory, Flicker Wisp. When it enters the battlefield, exiles the target permanent. Return that card to the battlefield under its under its control at the end of the, at the beginning of the next end step. Let's see, Beacon of Unrest for our rare. And cyclonic rift. Oh, I told him that I've almost had like a full edition of Goblin uh, Gaibon, uh, Goblin Gavalier, and Peace Strider. Probably gonna have to look up like uh, edit this out like at the end and like look up some of the prices. There's a lot of like bulk rares because you know they went double the masters, double the rares, double all the goodies. So it's actually pretty hard to hit like some of the good stuff. So there's a lot of like uh, underwhelming rares in there, but you know, I mean, usable at least. Weapon Surge, Heartless Pillage, Dark Steel Axe, Eager Construct, Sift, Chromatic Star, Rose's Talon. Tell you like. You can see these Tron lands everywhere. Crusade of Audric. So like I said the last time, there is a cycle. I think it's all the Smith cards. So this is the black one. Not the first one we've seen. Uh, Painsmith. Death Heap Ritual. Valorous Stance. Oh, there we go. And that's our first Mythic right there. Legendary Snowland. Pretty Astrolab just got banned. But... Dark Depth. Enter the battlefield with 10 ice counters on it. Remove an ice counter from Dark Depth. Has no ice counters. Sacrifice if you do create a Merit Large uh, Legendary 2020 Black Avatar creature with flying and indestructible. Yeah, so you're going to want to have like ramp into that and just take get rid of all those counters if you can. I think if you add that to uh what is it heartless act out of the um the uh, latest set oh no it was out of uh ikoria i'm not sure if it's a permanent or a creature but you can remove three counters that yeah, actually might be a little bit of a combo piece oh my 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 and there we go we got a double mythic so we get Dark Depth and Sword of Body and Mind. Here we get Diaphly Hoarder and a Fencing Case. So that's how we can go here in Double Masters. You can be like, rare, 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 mythic, 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 rare. So, and this is what everybody was griping about when we were talking about the box toppers. Is like, if you can open Crack a Pack from Double Masters, you can pull like two dump mythics. Why can't you pull like two mythic dark box stoppers? It was a little disappointing, but you know, uh, Wizards has tried and made it up. Uh, we did reach out to them, we did explain our like, situation, why we bought it, and we bought it, you know, 
based because we were excited about the product. We were about excited about double the fun, double all the goodies. And, you know, they've done a great job of being like trying to make reparations. And they were, literally was like, okay, if you did have a problem with, with this, we have a way of fixing it. Reach out to us. So if you do have a problem with your Double Masters VIP boxes, reach out to Wizards, talk to them, they're not unreasonable. And then maybe, you know, you can get a little bit of like help in making you feel a little bit better about your uh, expensive experience. Conclave Naturalist, Supernatural Stamina, Echo Wellspring, Cloud Reader Sphinx, Chromatic Star, Magnifying Glass, Alabaster Maze, you know, that pops up from time to time. And it's pretty, uh, pretty fun to play with. They went to Core Tapper, Hidden Stockpile. Even though, like, I couldn't remember, it was like Kaladesh and uh, Ether Revolt the other night when I was like pulling stuff out. And it was like, oh, Fatal Push. Uh. Again, these are great cards that came out of like Ether Revolt. It was a nice mechanic. Uh, Stockpile was a great build around. Drown in Sorrows, and let's see what we have out of our. <laughs> Rares. Well, Leech of the Tangle is absolutely just uh, bottom tier. Uh, probably worth about mm, five cents. I think uh, Hidden Stockpile is probably worth a little bit more. And Bearful Strix. I don't remember Bearful Strix ever actually being a rare. But again, yeah, I feel like Wizards have you know, been pushing up the rarity for some value, uh, some cars, and like bringing them back down. But yeah, it is what it is. But this is really nice, and that's the kind of thing that we're looking for. Carthus, Tyrant of Yund, Mythic Rare, little shiny Mythic. Pretty look at that, like gaping more. So we'll stick that down with the uh, Dark Depths. So we'll have a little rare pile, a little mythic pile over here. So not bad. We are what? Oops. One, two, three, four, five in. We've got about, oh, we're six, six in. We've pulled about like 50% chance of like pulling a mythic. One being a foil. And we haven't even touched our box hopper yet. Dun, dun, dun. Boom picker, lightning axe, blaze fiend, crushing vines, parasitic strix, more towers, more wellsprings, strength of arms. Into our uncommons we get invigorate, thirst for knowledge. I do like that artwork. Is really nice. I mean, they have done really well, like bringing back some of these like reprints, as like updating on like some of the artwork. Galvanic blast, and then ooh, awakening zone. And then hammer of Nazan. And then for our little foilies, apprentice winners. Wizard and clear shot. The old germ. Kind of funny. I was checking out some prices on uh, some of the websites, and some of the foil tokens are more expensive than some of the uh, rares that we opened. But uh, say, Livy, that is what it is. Uh, team of Battle Rage, Elvish Aberration, Exodus Capital. Cloud Reader Sphinx, Sickle Slicer, Skin Wing, Argvian Restoration, Glint Sleep Artisan, and into our Berry Druin of Uncommons. Sorry, a little bit OCD. I do like to have like a little bit more of a cleaner area. Berry Druin. Think of the Guild Pact, you know, just we just had that in uh, the Ravnica block. Oh, Naginata. 
more mana equipment. Can be attached to a creature with power of three or greater. Has plus three, plus O oh, and trample, and then equip two. I think what was that from? Was that from Kamigawa block? I think so. Adaptive automation. Kambaka regent. Then so we have revoke resistance and flare husk. Still trying to work out my uh, my setup here so everything can be seen properly and see all the kind of goodies that we got. So just getting used to this kind of thing. It's only our second vid, so please uh, excuse all the like bumps and bruises along the way. Goblin, Crushing Vines, Divest, Death Hoop Cobra, Gleaming Barrier, Fairy Mechanist, Costly Plunder. A lot of cards I find they come out from like some of the Ixalan sets, which were fine. Nice to see them being like used again. Let's see Dark Seal Citadel, Dread Return, Unlicensed Disintegration. Great removal spell. Ooh, ad nauseum. Tasty little number that one is. And Tuk Tuk, the Explorer. We get Angel of the Dawn and Urza's Power Plant. So I think even if we uh, didn't go like full foily, but at least we have like all the Tron lands like right here. So if you've got the power plant, the mines, and the tower, then you're good to go. Alright. Tumble Magnet, Stone Glass Scavenger, Lightning Axe, Cosalex Predator, Cathodian, Brainstorm. See love this card it's just so good it's so efficient and actually i wasn't too sad when we got the box topper version of it i know it's not quite the money card but the artwork was really sick and then next to it is the other the controversial one expedition map thankfully we didn't get the knock on wood uh box topper of this strength of arms then we got master splicer Mishra's Baubles, Clone Shell. We got Mana Echoes. Oh, nice little sweet little mythic. And then Cathalda Forge Magnet. Bloodbriar. Looks like almost looks like Untamed Kavu there. And then the foily version of Hidden Stockpile. <laughs> 